Um, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Hello po, I am Mary Grace Antoinette Salabaw, but you may call me Sister Ainet. And uh, I'm presently under the Unite for Fresh Fire Ministries International Philippine Chapter. That's our church and uh, me and my husband and uh, my, my daughter Ruth Esther is uh, serving in this church as uh, Ministry of Helps. I came to know International Teams Philippines way back in 2017. My husband, Brother Chris, was the first to join the Access Mission Training on May 2017 at Candelaria, Quezon. A day before my husband's departure for Cambodia, that is for his Access to Training, his mission exposure, he told me to go and join the Access Training 1, and that is uh, at our main office in Makati. And uh, our president himself, Pastor Gani, Pastor Gani Sison was then our trainer. And uh, it, just, it is just a one-day seminar. After the training, I, I was really so blessed because I couldn't forget uh, what Pastor Gani said, that uh, do not fear, for when the Lord guides, He provides. So um, on my way back home to Tarlac, I was on the bus, all I can utter was, was this, Lord, the door has been opened for us. Yes, me and my family will obey and we will go. So I was really contemplating and uh, meditating. And uh, when I arrived home, that was already about 12 midnight, I, I saw my husband's luggages. And they, are, they are all set because uh, at about 5 o'clock in the morning, he will be leaving for international team's office before they will go to the airport for their flight. So, um, napaka-saya po ng, 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 ng araw na yon because sunod-sunod po yung uh, nangyari sa aming pamilya. Then, after my husband finished his uh, access mission exposure, ako na naman. After that, I processed uh, the uh, renewal of my passport. But uh, there was a challenge because I, I found out that uh, merong discrepancy with my mother's uh, name, maiden name. So I have to comply with the law. Uh, I have to, to see an attorney. And I sent out my documents back to Iloilo and uh, to, to process everything. And to make the long story short, I waited for more than a year para maayos ang lahat. And I received my passport. My passport was released October 2018. But all the waiting paid off. For I received my passport with 10 years validity. Praise the Lord. It pays to wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, 2019 came. It was my time na to complete my access mission training that is my mission exposure. And uh, God is indeed so amazing. I learned from our I-team staff that uh, I was one of the first to book a flight for our international uh, train, uh, international conference. That's the East Asia Regional Conference in Pattaya, Thailand. Uh, that was still dated April 11 to 13. But I already got my ticket because the Lord provided ahead of time. And I had my ticket booked. January 15. Tunay po na napakabuti 
and amazing ang ating Lord. And um, I thought again that uh, I would fly alone. Kasi tapos na po yung husband ko sa kanyang access sa uh, mission exposure. But then again, the Lord had another surprise for me because I was able to encourage and, and um, um, invite my uh, two batchmates sa Bible school. At uh, amazingly, they joined. They went also into access uh, mission training one. And then kasama kami na lumipad sa Pattaya, Thailand for the East Asia Regional Conference and nag-continue kami sa aming uh, uh, training exposure from, Tha- from Thailand to uh, Pattaya, Thailand to Cambodia. Ito pa po yung magandang nangyari and uh, another, uh, shall I say, miracle happened when uh, during our flight to Bangkok. So April 9, we, we left for uh, Bangkok, for the East Asia Regional Conference. At uh, alam niyo po, what happened is our, our, our flight was supposed to leave at 7.30. And we should arrive at Bangkok um, around 9.30 in the morning. However, there was a, a super delay of flight. At ang nangyari po sa amin is... Um, we arrived Bangkok almost 5 o'clock na in the afternoon. But uh, still, so, so sa, sa, sa ganong time, I, I kept on reminding myself, God, you have a purpose. I believe you have a purpose. And, and thank you for, for teaching me patience. So you can just imagine kung ano po, of course, sa kadami namin, uh, hindi po talaga maiwasan uh, andun yung nagtatanong syempre merong uh, hindi ko na pinapakinggan yung mga complaints but for, for myself ayun, I was uh, talking to the Lord and sabi ko Lord you have a purpose and true enough God God has a real purpose and uh, ang pinakamagandang nangyari sa amin the moment we arrived in Bangkok, and while we were waiting for our bus, uh, one of us received an email from the uh, uh, from the airlines uh, informing us that uh, for they are making up for all the conveniences that they have caused us all the all of that delayed flights and everything. So they are giving us a free one way flight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Grabe po yun. So sa airport pa lang, may blessing na ang Lord sa amin. And, uh, at, grabe, at, uh, so, so, then, we, we went to Pattaya, we, we, we joined the East Asia Regional Conference, we were so blessed. Hindi namin, ma- hindi ko personally ma-explain kung, kung any just okay, not, I cannot just simply put into words yung yung mga ginawa ng Lord hanggang sa napunta kami ng Cambodia. Eh, pataya pa lang, um, the Lord exposed us kung, kung, kung what is there. And, and my heart was really broken sa nangyayari doon, child prostitution. So, uh, I prayed for mercy for, for pataya. And um, also, nang mapunta kami ng Cambodia, again, we were exposed there sa mga ministries. And, and whatever they, they were asking us to do, I myself, I, I do it obediently and uh, with, with all humility because I know that the Lord is training me. And also, I, we were able to teach sa mga kabataan doon sa uh, Emmanuel International School. And I myself, I, I was really so blessed na na-expose ako doon. So, praise the Lord for that wonderful journey. And uh, July came, uh, that was last year again, uh, we were exposed again. We, we and my hus- I and my husband, uh, I jo- we joined the Mission Global Summit in Baguio. And there, 
we committed to be part of the mobilizers team. And August came, uh, Brother Chris and I joined the trainers training for the global Filipino dream and the global tent maker. And um, we were so humbled and, and blessed to be uh, given the accreditation from international teams, Philippines, as uh, trainers. So presently, uh, trainers kami, I myself, of a Global Filipino Dream and uh, Global Tent Maker. So thank you, Lord, and glory to God. So uh, again, going back to our one-way free ticket, Yung sinabi ko kanina na binigay sa amin, doon mismo sa Bangkok namin nabasa yung, yung uh, uh, blessing, paunang blessing ng Lord sa amin. So uh, with that, I told the Lord that uh, uh, I just don't want to use this ticket for, for leisure or for recreation. But Lord, I want to offer this free ticket for you, for your mission, for your cause. And I said, Lord, uh, where do you want me to go with using this ticket? And, and, and the Lord led me together again with my uh, batchmate sa Bible School, Cecil, kasama ko rin siya sa East Asia Regional Conference. Uh, the Lord led us to Hong Kong. And alam niyo naman po, by that time, September, October, last year, there was this uh, riot and um, chaos that's going on in Hong Kong. And of course, um, human as I am, sabi ko, Lord, why of all places Hong Kong? But then, sabi ko nga, yes, Lord, I will go where you want me to go. So, again, the Lord provided. Gamit ko yung, yung I mean, free ticket, free one-way ticket, um, pumunta muna kami kay Pastor Gani and I, our president I asked him we asked him for his advice because the Lord was telling me go to Hong Kong and uh, meet the OFWs there yung mga OFW Christian OFWs in Hong Kong and tell them that they are not just working to earn a living or to support their families, but they are working there. I brought them there to Hong Kong, not only to work there as OFWs, but as my missionaries. I sent them as my missionaries. So, yun po napaka clear po ng, na, na, na instructions ng Lord sa akin at kay, kay Cecil. So, ang tanong, Lord, sino-sino yan sila? Who are those OFWs? Considering, of course, there are millions of OFWs doon sa Hong Kong. Sino sila at saan? Which, part, which specific part of Hong Kong? Uh, still, again, we trusted the Lord. Ikaw, Lord, ang, ang, ang nagbigay sa amin yan, you will lead the way, you will lead us to these people. So, we went to Pastor Gani, uh, we asked for his blessings, and, and I asked him, Pastor, what do you want me to give na seminar? Is it a uh, global tent maker or global Filipino thing? And Pastor Gani instructed me to give, you give global Filipino thing. Kasi nandoon na sila, they're already working as OFWs. But they have to know the call of the Philippines. They have to know the prophecy of the Philippines being Christians. So, to make the long story short, ganun po yung nangyari. At uh, ginamit namin yung, yung uh, free one-way ticket namin. And na, na-discover ko uh, that... Uh, the, the amount of the ticket na naging libre sa amin plus 20 kilos luggage is almost 10,000. 
10,000. Glory to God. At hindi lamang yun. Uh, yung ticket ko, pabalik because from Hong Kong, we went to Macau and from Macau, umuwi kami ng Pilipinas. Yung, yung ticket ko from Macau to the Philippines, again, it was a blessing from the Lord because uh, He used somebody na magbayad sa akin na ganun. So, it was all for free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, ngayon nga po yung nangyari, uh, pagdating na pagdating doon sa Hong Kong pa, we don't know where we'll be staying. But again, the Lord is uh, telling me, just stay calm. At alam nyo po, nasa Clark Airport pa lang po kami, that was October 6 last year, nasa Clark Airport pa lang, papasok ng immigration, the Lord impressed to me Psalm 23. So, bago pa lang po kami pumasok madaling araw, I was already reciting Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, yun po yung inuulit-ulit ko. And even uh, by the time that I, I went to the immigration and, and the consul asked me, why will I go to Hong Kong? So, I just answered, we, we want to bless Hong Kong. We are missionaries. That's it. At uh, wala na pong question. And even pagdating doon po sa Hong Kong, uh, sinundo po kami, uh, a fellow sister in the Lord, at sabi niya, where will you stay? Hindi kami sumasagot ni Cecil. Kasi by, nandun na kami sa Hong Kong, hindi pa namin alam kung saan kami mag-stay. But I believe and I have uh, peace of mind that the Lord will provide. And true enough, siya pa yung nag-worry sa amin. Eh. Kami ni Cecil, wala lang, we just smiled and put our trust in the Lord because we know that the Lord will do something and do enough. Gumawa ang Lord ng another miracle. Uh, he, he let us stay sa isang condominium. Hallelujah. Pinatila niya kami sa isang condominium at alam niyo po, katabi ng condominium na inistayhan namin ay uh, nandun pa po yung police station and nakikita namin sa baba ng condominium nandun po yung mga mga kabataan, they doing protests and nagrarayot sila but the Lord's protection is upon us. Indeed, He is our shepherd. Siya po yung ating dakilang pastor. So, so we met with the, nili din po kami doon sa isang church, Jesus Christ the Messiah Church doon sa Hong Kong and we were able to talk with their pastor and mga members and alam niyo po, Grabe po pala, um, that church, they were about to give up. But then, as the Lord, as the name of Jesus says, Jesus saves. He indeed saved His church. So, nag-arrange po kami, and uh, the first international global Filipino dream seminar was scheduled October 13. So, yun po. And in the midst of riot and, and protests, still sabi nila, uh, please pray for us. And then I also ask our um, global intercessors to intercede for that seminar. Now in the midst of, of the riot and the chaos, still uh, naganap yung seminar na yon. Nang walang hindrances, all of the church members were able to go and attend. At meron pang uh, uh, another uh, couple na uh, former I-Teams member, then they were able to join. Glory to God sa nangyari. And then, after that, we went to Macau and then still, the Lord provided for everything. Grabe po yung nangyari. And of course, may treat ang Lord sa amin. Um, Inikot kami ng mga fellow Christians doon and, and he used also a man of peace na 
nag-accommodate sa amin doon sa Macau. And we were able to see the all the uh, kung anong meron po doon sa Macau. And even other fellow, I, I, we were able to meet with the fellow IT missionaries. Then. So that was all. And then uh, it was all for free. Glory to God. Nakikita po namin as we obey the Lord one step at a time. Nakikita namin how He He do His miracles. And uh, we were so blessed. At hindi lamang po kami, pati pa doon yung mga OFWs na nandun. So, uh, that was uh, our trip to Hong Kong and Macau. It lasted for 18 days. And we went home to the Philippines again to prepare for another trip. Nakakatuwa po ang Lord. Amazing talaga ang Lord. Kasi pupunta na ng November. So, and my family, tatlo na po kami, si Brother Chris and uh, my daughter Ruth Esther, fondly called Ruthie, ay meron po na kami ticket for our Cutting Edge Leadership Conference in Kota Kinabalu. Ito po po ang talagang amazing. Ano? Um, indeed, when He guides, He provides. And if it is His will, it is His bill. Bakit po? Kasi May pa lang po ng 2019, ay meron na po kami ticket family for Cutting Edge Leadership Conference in Kota Kinabalu. Grabe ang Lord. Kaya, uh, amazing talaga. So, again, we have to prepare for another trip, that for the, the November trip. And um, ngayon, kasama ko na po yung aking buong pamilya. Because uh, when I was in Hong Kong, ako lang po mag-isa. And uh, bilang isang mother, syempre, at uh, leaving the, my four-year-old daughter, hindi po naging madaling sa akin. Nagkaroon pa po ng challenge. Uh, during the time when we were in Hong Kong at hindi pa po naganap yung seminar ng Global Filipino Dream, yung daughter ko po ay nagkaroon ng chicken pox. At uh, nung malaman ko po yun, may mga advices nga po sa akin, why don't you just go home? Eh, sabi ko, Lord, simply go home? without finishing the seminar and without finishing the mission na pinagawa mo sa amin, no? Kaya sabi ko, I claim the healing covenant of the Lord and I entrust everything to the Lord. Of course, di na mother masakit sa akin. Pero, glory to God. I saw again another miracle of the Lord because two days after lang, wala na po ang chicken pox sa akin. Na lang. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Indeed, he is our shepherd. And surely, if we obey, we will walk. Hallelujah. Surely, goodness and mercy and all those promises na healing covenant niya will follow us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. So, balik po tayo doon sa November trip namin sa Kota Kinabalu. That was really a great blessing for us because we go as a family. And uh, nasa aeroplano pa lang po kami. My, my daughter is, is really so happy. She was smiling and uh, katabi pa po niya yung isang American citizen. Uh, kasi ako nasa likod. Magkatabi sila ng daddy niya. But um, she was smiling all throughout. And even that, that, uh, that American uh, man <laughs> Americano na yun, tinanong siya, why are you so so happy? You're smiling all throughout. And my daughter just answered, I'm so happy because I'm going to Malaysia. That was her first international trip. Grabe, amazing talaga. And uh, she was so excited to put on her, her um, uh, seat belt because she knows how to do it. And uh, I, I was so blessed also. Sabi ko, Lord, ito na. Ito na when when I when I I I I made a commitment. Yes, Lord, the door is already open for us, and me and my family will go. So ito na po yung pisa mga kapatid. Uh, so it was a very fruitful and um, um, amazing journey again as we joined the Cutting Edge Leadership Conference in Kota Kinabalu at umuwi kami na masaya and maayos. So, that was a journey with international teams Philippines. Kaya, uh, 
I tell you, mga kapatid, brothers and sisters in faith and fellow missionaries, never doubt the Lord. Do not fear. Never ever fear. Because He is our shepherd. He is our great shepherd. As He was a shepherd to us, He will also be a shepherd to you. Siya yung ating dakilang pastor. Ang sabi nga, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, ano man po yun, you know, he will, we will never be afraid. We will never be in fear because He is with us. His rod and His staff, they will comfort us. They will lead us. That will protect us. Hallelujah. And hindi lamang po yun. He will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And dun po, i-prepare niya sa atin. Wala ka matitirhan, hindi mo alam. Do not worry. Because He already prepared the way. Amen. And not only that, He will anoint us. He will anoint our head with oil that we may be able to speak in the midst of, of the people that he, want, that he wanted us to speak. We will never be afraid. And as he promised, surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. All glory, praises, honor, and thanksgiving all to our Lord alone. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.